So it seems that life has a very twisted sense of humor. You get something good, then all of a sudden, something bad comes right around the corner. A couple of days ago, as most of you know, we got an announcement that Bioshock the movie will be directed and implemented on the Netflix platform. So, whether you think that's good or bad is completely subjective. But today, we're going to look at the other side. We're going to be talking about Bioshock 4. As always, with news, rumors, speculation, etc., I want to keep you all up to date and in the loop, so I'm going to do that in today's video. As per usual, take this article with a grain of salt. If you want to read it for yourself, it'll be down in the description below. With that being said, if you're new here and want to see more Bioshock content, would you kindly hit that subscribe button? And without further ado, let's get into today's video. This article in particular comes from Game Rant, and it states the following. Bioshock 4 may get delayed as leaks suggest studio loses 40 developers. That is absolutely insane if that leak is indeed true. Let's dive more into the article. There hasn't been a new Bioshock game since 2013 or 2014 if anyone is counting Episode 2 of Burial at Sea, and it's likely that many fans had assumed that the series was dead in the water. However, with Bioshock 4 in development and possibly coming out this year according to rumors and leaks, it could spell a triumphant return for a highly praised franchise that began with Ken Levine and 2K Games back in 2007. However, it's possible that there may be some hiccups at Cloud Chamber Studios, the current studio working on the next installment, which could lead to delays. According to a recent report from comicbook.com, and I will put that in the description as well, which cites a tweet from a leaker, there are some issues in terms of the development of Bioshock 4, namely that 40 staff members have allegedly left or been let go from the company which could include some leads. On top of that, the leak also suggests that 2K is not satisfied with the game in its current state. Given these speculations, it may push the final release date to as late as the end of 2024. So the leaks from before stating that it could potentially come out this year, now we have leaks saying that it could potentially come out in 2024. That is absolutely mind-blowing. It's definitely interesting that this leak comes at the same time of the announcement of the upcoming Bioshock movie being made by Netflix, as I mentioned earlier. As the tweet doesn't make any mention of this, it's unlikely that the two stories are connected, and that it may be a coincidence. A rather perfectly timed coincidence, but a coincidence nonetheless. Of course, it's worth stating that this is just a leak. Nothing has been announced by anyone involved, that being Take-Two, 2K, or Cloud Chamber Studios, with the game's development at the time of writing, so readers are best waiting to hear from official sources before passing judgment. If true, however, it would be a bit of a blow to the fanbase who have eagerly been awaiting a follow-up for several years now. Conversely, some may be holding back their excitement for Bioshock 4 or Bioshock Isolation, in quotes, as it may be called, as many feel that the original game set the bar enormously high and subsequent releases have not quite met the standards that the players were after, despite 2013's Bioshock Infinite achieving higher Metacritic scores, which honestly has no relevance to this at all. The games and the enjoyment are based on the players alone, Metacritic I'm not too keen on it, if that makes sense. Add to that fact that Ken Levine is not involved with the upcoming game in any way, and some may be a little bit skeptical about it overall. That said, it would be interesting to see where a new Bioshock entry could take the story. With the first game being considered one of the best first-person shooters of the last decade, and a bit there's still every reason to believe that Cloud Chamber Studios can make something of the series even without Ken Levine at the helm. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm genuinely interested in hearing your feedback, your questions, comments, concerns, everything. Let me know down in the comments. 
So ladies, gentlemen, and everybody else watching, that's going to do it for today's video. I'll continue to cover Bioshock 4 news, rumors, and speculation in the future, so if that's something that piques your interest, obviously as I said earlier, would you kindly hit that subscribe button, that would mean a lot. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, a like is greatly appreciated, and also a comment down below is also very much appreciated. If you want to follow me outside of YouTube on my social medias, Twitter and Instagram are the best ways to get a hold of me, those are going to be down in the description below. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching today's video. With that being said, take care, stay safe, and I will talk to you all in the very next video.